Growing up, I was surrounded by some level of sporadic violence, which eventually became the norm. Instead of dealing with our problems, our conflicts, by speaking or expressing ourselves in the best possible way and trying to find the best possible solution, we would always either start by verbal abuse or lead to or go straight to violence. Um, and as we know, violence is not always the answer. But at the time, this is the only way we express ourselves. We didn't know any other way of doing so, whether it would be within the house or outside of the house. And eventually I just got tired, uh, constantly fighting and constantly getting angry and, and um, annoyed and so on and so forth. I knew it was affecting me. It may not affect me physically or manifest itself physically, but I knew that it was having its toll or taking its toll on me um, mentally and spiritually. But during those days, I wasn't spiritually inclined. But looking back, I could see there was a big uh, difference and blockade that prevented me from accepting Islam or accepting any sort of religious uh, doctrine or belief system on the mere fact that I developed this level of characteristics or behavioral traits that I couldn't shake off. Behavioral traits I couldn't shake off. Feelings I couldn't shake off. And I saw accepting any sort of religious doctrine was a sign of weakness. There were certain things I needed to do that relied, that relied on a level of anger and a level of, of a lack of, of empathy. So having that, that blockade spiraled me into various different avenues, which then again made me start to sit down and think about challenging uh, the status quo and looking at other outlets that can actually help me communicate myself, communicate in the best possible way. Um, and the first, the first thing that came to mind, though, was my first, you know, step in the right direction when we were studying uh, English literature, in English literature and language in school, and we were exposed to some of the Shakespearean plays, and we had to write a definition of our understanding or the concept of love. I had to dig really, really deep to find that sort of um, essence of what I perceive love to be, despite me not actually seeing it per se. Or it was, of course, it was, it was prevalent in my life, but I didn't really take notice of it. Um, eventually, I began to have this journey of the pursuit of happiness. Not saying that I didn't enjoy my life at all, of course, but there was a void that needed to be filled. I wanted to replace the anger with something completely different, something more pure and more uh, beneficial. Now, when we fast forwarded to university, I was, I was exposed to various different people and character traits and behavioral traits and walks of life that um, resulting to violence wasn't always the answer. That's why some people actually deserved it, though, I'm not going to lie, especially those that didn't want to do their homework on time. <laughs> but... Um, there was yeah, something that needed to be, I needed to mature and, and deal with problems as, as, as they come in the best possible way. So one thing I started to do was write down some of my issues, uh, situations that will come and how I dealt with those situations or how I didn't deal, deal with those situations, I would write them down. Um, something else that I used to do as well was was sit down in in the kitchen and write short stories whilst my mother was cooking in the kitchen. That's why she wasn't even listening to those stories. But this was a, a way of me expressing myself in a different way, uh, you know, trying different outlets as opposed to just thinking about violence or becoming violent or becoming angry. 
So my poetry was more or is more of a coping mechanism rather than me trying to project my talents or my ideals. And something that I ended up eventually doing was leaving my house and would just walk around the university campus and just observe. And I took a quite a lot of interest in a particular person. I used to always go to a particular tr- a particular club, and get drunk, and get kicked out, um, be surrounded by his 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 friends. Well, well, it seemed to be his friends, and then they would leave him, and then he would stagger his way home um, by himself. And I began to feel sorry for him. Then I sat down to my sat down in my quiet time and began to think. I'll meet, I'll, is he and I any different? We have some sort of similarities. And I began to think, what are these similarities? And then it hit me that both of us are asleep. That's why we have some level of sleep deprivation, but we were spiritually asleep. He will drown his sorrows and his reality or escape his reality by, by using alcohol. I will try to escape my reality by getting angry and resulting to violence and then my new channel of out, out, out outlet in trying to express myself was writing these things down but me writing these things down was me escaping reality because I would never I wouldn't address them I would think that me writing down my anger or writing down how I'm feeling or writing down certain situations that happened and not actually addressing those situations became a recurring thing so he will always return back to the same club get kicked out have the same group of friends that will abandon him, then he will have to find his way home and he will do exactly the same thing the next day. And me, writing down my issues, not trying to address those issues, same thing happening again, same anger, same violence, same scenarios in a different way with different people, with different people, and not actually finding the crux or the issue or the purpose that all of these things were happening. So there was something that I needed to make a change. And uh, Alhamdulillah, that change eventually came. So hopefully this session today, inshallah wa ta'ala, uh, you can find some level of solace, a level of peace. And perhaps you can extract some lessons from my poetry that can actually help you in your journey, inshallah wa ta'ala. Barakallahu feek. Time.